Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roman Reigns Series 129 Chase Edition figure. Now, if you've been watching this channel for um, a long amount of time, you will know that uh, WWE figures have, in some cases, they have, you know, the standard edition, which every set has, of course, standard figures. And then a few figures are considered chase, and chase figures are produced in a smaller uh, quantity, a little harder to find. And uh, sometimes the chase figures, in this case, chase figures, most of the chase figures have a slight alteration in color you know from the average figure but in this case it's different because we actually get an entirely new attire which i really love the chase figures like this so um as a matter of fact we're going to get into this figure first so uh, we see roman reigns head of the table tribal chief of uh, the other series in this other figures in the series dominique mysterio Miz, carmella and noam dar and Roman has just been, I mean, Roman Reigns to me, he's officially, he's on my top 10 in WWE history list. I think the work he's done over these last few years as, um, you know, in the, with the bloodline angle, the historic championship reign, he really has stepped, he's crossed that threshold in my mind of, you know, now he is in that Triple H, Steve Austin, Rock, um, Hogan, Bruno, San Martino discussion in terms of being one of the all-time greats and being a top 10 in WWE history. And I mean, since he's come back, I have just loved, you know, I'm loving this kind of bloodline versus bloodline 2.0 thing we're doing, him regaining his tribal chief status. I, I just love everything about Roman Reigns these days. And in this figure really nice really nice and uh, as you see we have the white love that white the white head of the table t-shirt with the blue jeans and the the sneaks i mean really and the face scan I mean, the head scan looks immaculate this looks just like roman um tremendous figure even have the sleeve you know the tattoo good detail there can't say nothing bad about this figure. Now we look at the standard edition. Now this is where it gets interesting because this is, um, I won't say it's rare, but it's not super common where both of these figures, Series 129, this is the chase, but both of these are, you have different shirts because everything, you know, different outfits, really, the entire ensemble, because this is, of course, you know, black, uh, all black, an entirely different shirt. This is the smash them, stack them, pin them shirt. And, of course, you know, then with the same shoes, but I just like that you get really two entirely different outfits with these. That's just a really nice, um, just really nice, just really nice touch. That may be the best way I put it. I really like Mattel because they really get the level of details they, and thought that they put into these figures is really, really it makes collecting fun. It really does. Just even with some of the more obscure figures we're seeing now with the Hogan figures, you know, that we've gotten lately, a lot of these different really pre WWE phases of his career that we've never gotten figures like that before. So, and again, this is just a nice, simple touch. You know, we have in the same series, you have two completely different Roman Reigns figures. And if you're a Roman Reigns fan, you know, you will love this. Now, I'm more of a Roman Reigns Basics Figures fan. Um, Roman Reigns Elites, and this has been, I don't know if this has been too documented on my channel, but I have very few Roman Reigns Elite Figures because for the most part, once you, if you buy one Roman figure, you have bought them all. They're all alike. They all have the same base in terms of, you know, the, the, the trunks, the boot, the pants, boots. The only change they do now was like they changed the color of his, you know, little gauntlet that he wears on his hand. But it's not many major changes. So I believe I only have, I want to say I only have three Roman Reigns elites. No more than four. And one was the NXT version, which is a completely different figure. Um, then one was given to me by my wife. Then the other two or other one I got on sale, but probably will never ever get any more Roman Reigns elites. And um, yeah, but just good figure, man. Great figure. Great figure. Feels good in the hands. Of course, you know, I'm a basic figure fans and now they're the main event series, you know, figure line is what they've been rebranded as. So again, this is a good figure. Even like the hair, you have the little the man bun and awesome figure. 
And again, Roman, he has just been, I've just loved everything about him. And even just the break he took after WrestleMania, I think that helped freshen him up. And we're now seeing him as what the company always envisioned him as being from day one as the top baby face. And it took some twists and turns to get there. It took some a lot of fan rejection. Then it took a heel turn, which really turned his career around. But Roman is now the top baby face in WWE, which is the position that Vince and everyone always envision him. So it's just funny how things turn out. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, everyone, for liking, commenting, subscribing. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the shorts. The shorts, you know, I like to do those. I can do those are just more easily, you know, get those out. You're just going through a lot of figures in my collection. So, again, thank you, everyone, that watched my last video. Um, I definitely appreciate that, man. Got a lot of feedback to it. And, um, again, just thank you all for watching, man. I do this all for you, you guys. I appreciate just taking the time to watch these videos. You could be doing a thousand other things. There are millions of other channels you could be watching, but you've chosen to watch mine, and I do appreciate it. Be on the lookout for more content coming your way, and have a great rest of the day. Bye.